Let's first take a look at the offensive positioning of these two amateur players. We can see that after our strike player served the net ball, the opponent returned a lob shot to the backcourt. Our support player did not retreat to the backcourt and stayed in the front court. This resulted in the player at the back having to move too far to receive the shuttle, while the player at the front was afraid of the risk of collision while hitting the shuttle, leading to a score loss. The correct positioning for the support player in the front court should be to move from the front court to the middle court. This way, you can block the middle court shuttle while also blocking the front court shuttle. Therefore, you should try to avoid leaving gaps between you and your partner that could expose you to your opponent. Similarly, when the player in the front court is blocking the net, the support player in the back court should quickly return to a position near the center of the middle court to avoid exposing the middle court to the opponent. Simply put, if your partner retreats, you should retreat with them. If they move forward, you should also move forward with them. Following this rhythm can help to improve your positioning on the court. Next, let's talk about the positioning of the support player when attacking down the line. Whether you are the player at the front or the back, your positioning should be the same, which is to be near the center line. This is because you are starting from the center position, and it is the shortest distance to any point on the court. The difference is that when you shift, you should lean towards your partner's side and move closer to that side. However, you should never just stand there and watch others play or wait for the shuttle, because this will cause you to lose the best offensive opportunities. To summarize the points I mentioned above, you should follow your partner's movements and move in the same direction as them. When your partner moves to the left, you should also move to the left. When they move to the right, you should also move to the right but your positioning should be near the center line. Mastering this rhythm can help improve your court positioning. When should the support player in the middle court rotate with their partner? Generally, the front and back court should rotate when the partner has a gap in their coverage, but only after ensuring that their own side of the court is protected against incoming shuttles. To summarize, the support player in the middle court should prioritize protecting their own side of the court before assisting their partner's side. In other words, the attention of your own side of the court should always come first, while the attention of your partner's side should come second. It is important to understand your main responsibilities in your position and not neglect them while trying to help your partner, because the front and back court have a division of labor. Below are three situations in which you should have a sense of rotation with your partner. The first situation is when the player in the backcourt is attacking the net and there is a gap in the backcourt. In this case, the player at the front should be aware of the need to retreat and cover the backcourt shuttle. The second situation is when the player in the front court is attacking down the line. If the opponent returns the ball to the front court to the same side and there is a gap, the support player in the backcourt should be aware of the need to immediately move forward to cover the frontcourt shuttle. The third situation is when the player in the backcourt is attacking down the line and the opponent returns a cross-court shot to the backcourt. In this case, the player at the front should retreat to cover the backcourt shuttle. It is important to emphasize here that the player at the front should retreat diagonally when covering a cross-court shot. This is because cross-court shots take longer to travel and are therefore easier to reach, and diagonal retreats are also less likely to collide with the player in the backcourt. If there is a situation where two players are going for the shuttle, remember that the player in the backcourt should always let the player in the front court go for the shuttle because the front court player cannot see the position of the backcourt player. So, it is important to keep this in mind. Thank you for watching.